This is Rap the News. I just had three dreams that tell me that I will be leaving here soon. I don't know about everybody else, but these dreams tell me personally that I'm getting ready to go somewhere. Okay, and I'm going to tell you about those three dreams in just a moment. I recently did a video, and in that video, I was trying to say what to prepare for in these end times. If you know we're going in the dark, that's what you prepare for. If you know it's going to be a big earthquake, which we do know, as soon as it go dark, the earthquake is happening. You know, and then we know when it go dark and the earthquake is happening, the trumpet is blasted and these meteorites are falling to the ground. According to, to Revelation, these meteorites are going to fall for an hour. So you are preparing for darkness, an earthquake, and an hour of brimstones being rained down. If you preparing for anything else, you stupid. You know, unless you live right in front of the ocean, then you should be preparing for a tsunami. If you live in far away from the ocean like I, then you need to prepare for the darkness, the fire, and this earthquake. You know, so everything should be fireproof or you should have some area on your property somewhere where you could, you know, that, that is concrete out. You could, you could store your food there and it's kind of fireproof. You know, it's, it's kind of like metal. And then, you know, if meteorites is falling and stuff, a way to relocate them if you can move them, you know what I mean? That's with, with an object, you know, because they're going to be piping hot and smoking. So you need to have masks and everything else. You have to be prepared, man, because who says you're going to be taken up in this remnant? This remnant is small. I keep trying to tell people. Uh, and the men of Nineveh was just a city. And they, they, they prayed, they fasted, they wore sackcloth, and, and they repented. The whole city did. And that's why God saved them. That ain't going to happen ever again in life. Because there's too many devils who don't believe in nothing right now, you know. Too many homosexuals and everything else. Um, and then the other people that got saved was the people of Noah. There were eight and then Sodom and Gomorrah. There were three. And so basically that's what we have. Eleven people out of the whole world pretty much being saved. Only a handful of people is getting get ready to get saved now. Everybody with religion and with God and with this, they ain't going to make it. You know what I'm saying? And so, basically, uh, again, if you're going to prepare, prepare for the fire. That's what you need to prepare for. And I said in that, that uh, the fire is targeted towards individual sinners. The fire is coming down to try every man's work. So you're going to be exposed to that fire. Everybody must cross over the fire or through the fire. Everybody must and so that fire is going to try every man's work to see what sort it is. And um, basically, like I said, you're not going to explain things to the meteorite, to the brimstones, and to the fire that's raining down. You're not going to explain how you had a hard day and a hard life and how somebody touched your poo-poo and you couldn't act right ever since. You're not going to explain none of that. And so what you're going to do is just get burned up, you and your family, if you don't repent turn to God and make amends go fix all the wrongs you did go mend it with people that you have broken it with you know go be make it good with your brother go be good with your brother make it good with him your sister your mama your daddy call them up and say sorry and then I added that God is the most merciful of those who show mercy and so I was reading that to you. I did a whole lecture on that out of, the to out of the Torah and the Bible. You know, that you have to show mercy in order to receive it. You have to show forgiveness in order to receive it. You know, you have to be kind in order to receive kindness. You got to let things go in order for things to be let go. You know, everybody's going to pay for every crime that they did. 
whether that fire had to purge you or you know God punished you in this life some somebody said oh we did 400 years and so all of our shit is paid for already your shit ain't paid for because you doing shit every day just to say that stupid lying ass bullshit you gotta pay some more people don't understand that everybody keep thinking they gonna get some I had a hard life I'm gonna get something free you made your life hard you need to make better righteous decisions so your life can be better by God God ain't gonna help no damn sinner you know except for the, by admonishment redirection from your sin that's the help from God as in he just gonna give you some good cause you made life tough on yourself no you know everybody was well everybody I know was put in a, a tough situation you know where we had to fight out of that tough situation and I'm the only one that seemed like I made it out of the tough situation. <coughs> Everybody else faltered some type of way. You know. And I barely made it out by the hairs of my chinny chin chin. You know what I mean? And so, um. My dreams that I, I got into. You know, that I had. I had three quick dreams. And that was. The first dream is that I had well I was a bus driver for the city you know and I'm not a bus driver for the city um, uh, something about driving in a dream whoever's driving in the dream is the one in charge and in control and so if I'm driving the bus I'm in control of my vehicle you know what I mean myself that's why I'm driving the bus if some stranger was driving the bus that means the city or the state or the government or whoever's driving in my dream is in charge. I'm not in charge. So I was in charge. I was driving a city bus. Right. And I know the city means something as well. Okay. And everybody at the bus company. So this is a new position that I was being given. You know. And everybody at the bus company. Uh, pretty much they, they just knew me. I did not know who these people are. I don't know how they know me and everything else. And it was, they had my application there. They had everything about me there. They had my ID. I didn't really have to fill out anything. All I had to do was go find my bus and drive to wherever because I didn't even have the guidance or the lo uh, you know, direction of where I was going. I was given a new bus, all right? And so th th that's, that's, you are getting ready to go somewhere. You know, um, a lot of dreams that I had is I go and teach somewhere else. So now I'm teaching at a college or something in my in my dreams. Okay, um, the second dream is that I had a brand new pair of Air Force Ones, white. They were white Air Force Ones, and they were high top Air Force Ones. So it was some kind of new tennis shoe that came out, and um, Air Force One means something, something about the Air Force and One, you know, and um, the the back of the shoes were they they was kind of shaped like your ankle, they weren't shaped like a shoe, so dynamically they were made like your ankle, and it was it was designed like that for some reason, and the front of the shoe was made like a regular high top tennis shoe, you know. And it had a strap over it that said Air Force Ones, and it was completely white. I don't wear white. I don't wear nothing white because it just don't look right on me. And plus, it gets scuffed up real easy. And so, um, I remember my brother in the dream was looking at my shoes and envying those shoes, wishing that he had those shoes. And I was uh, very grat grateful, showing gratitude that I had these shoes on in the dream, was happy. But I had no idea where they came from. Shoes indicate going in a direction. New shoes, a new direction. So here, here's the bus. I'm going in a direction that I don't know. In, in shoes, I'm going in a direction I don't know. So this is saying great change is going to take place, right? And then now, uh, this morning, I had a dream that... Um, I had a dream that um, I was in like a penthouse. It was my my penthouse, like a condominium or a penthouse. 
It was like a mixture between the two. And it was in some kind of big, expensive, high-rise business uh, building. Like, something better than Trump Tower, let's say that. So, it was some kind of business place like that. I had, like, a penthouse in that. And, um, I don't know why, but I was supposed to move out within a day and a half. I don't know if I had two days, but I know I only had a day and a half left in the dream. I don't know what the date mean. I cannot measure the time from dreamland to this world, you know. And so I had a day and a half, which means that that can mean death, you know, or tremendous change, you know, and to move out. So each dream is moving in a direction. One's with your feet, one's in a vehicle, and one is physically moving out of a penthouse or condominium you know and uh, they were making repairs to the closet for the next person to move in you know something with the closet you know and and, and that's something that you ain't telling people you know and I ain't, it ain't homosexuality in my case but it was something that you just don't tell people that you just keep to yourself it needed fixing before I move out and so there was a butler there fixing that. You know what I mean? Some some white guy, some butler, like a manager and a butler, he was like coming there and he was repairing that for me. And uh, I was just getting my clothes and everything else, you know, packed up and stuff like that. I did not know where I was going. I did not know where I was moving to and didn't even care. And so uh, the tenant that was supposed to move into my uh, penthouse was my mom. And so, basically, it's like I went and looked at her uh, condominium, and she was in a condominium as well, which which is the body that housed the soul. Um, it was something wrong with the elevator in her condominium. And I was like, this elevator is dangerous. It has cords and stuff that's actually hanging out. And it's just a moment, matter of time before something happens here. So it's a good idea that she's moving where I used to live because I know that's a good place, you know. And so um, my sister had came over and she was like replacing all of my stuff with my mom's stuff. You know, so she was laying my stuff flat down and she was raising my mother's stuff up, like pictures and stuff I had like on counters and stuff like that. She was putting those down. I was just sitting there in a towel and then in my underwear in a towel. Don't know what that means, but uh, she was raising, she was dropping my pictures down and raising my mother's pictures up. You know, like my mother was taking my place. Uh, you know, and so uh, I don't know if that means everybody, but it does say where I'm going. If, if you were running from God, you know, like these people are doing in their dreams, and they trying to hide and find a place, uh, they running from FEMA and all the mother, you, you finna get left behind and tortured. The end. But if you don't know the destination, because who would know if you're going to a better place? You know, that that's for you to see when you get there. But if you already know where you're going, you know, you need to make some changes. And I'm, I show people that all these Christians in these dreams is going to hell. They are going to the place where they are getting ready to burn and be tormented the rest of their life. That is what their dreams are saying. They have no idea, you know. And so, um, just like I said, I hope that people have gotten educated on this channel. Uh, I've worked my entire life and my ass off getting you this information it has been very dangerous and very stressful and tedious indeed you know and I hope that everyone has gotten something out of it and my job is well done so um if anybody have any questions or anything please leave them in the comments this is wrap the news